Hey everyone, welcome to another episode from Ampro Engineering. This will be another one of the Ampro review series, and for this one, we have a package that just came in, and I am pretty excited about this one because. Hmm. There it goes. Because. This was on eBay. In fact, there are many of these on eBay. This is the Radio Shack Zebra Buggy. Uh, this just came in and I haven't even opened it up, so I'm super excited, but you'll see why I bought this right here. This looks to be an exact copy of the Nico Turbo Panther. So let's open this thing up and see what, exactly what it is. Let's open the box real fast. So this remote control looks super cool. I don't know if it has buttons down there for go, stop. I don't know how this thing actually works. Push button controllers. Interesting. Air filled tires. All right, well, let's see if it looks like the box. Apparently it's brand new. Ooh, super buggy, man. And here it is. Ooh, is that the same size? It looks to be exactly the same size. Nice. And here is the remote. And what the heck is this? These are stickers. battery in it. Hmm. A little confused at this point. I, oh no, this is one of those forward and reverse cars, isn't it? Uh, man. Well, let's see here. It does, does it have black painted shocks? Wait a minute. The, oh, dude, these are molded. Do these even? Nope. These are molded. That is mold. Oh, look at that. There are no shot. Interesting. The body looks identical, but it even has these fake little pivots. It's got the Nerf bars. Oh, it's not new. It's been used, but it looks like one time, which I suspect given, <sighs> given how this car is probably gonna run is about as many times as I would have run it too. Uh, decals are, they're okay. They're a little bit, a little bit lumpy here. I like the color scheme. Actually, I like it quite a lot. But it looks like, yeah, this is already becoming a bit of a disappointment. Six double A's. Interesting. Well, um, let's see here. Uh, ooh, the tires. The tires look to be exactly the same as the Turbo Panther. Quite, quite nice. They're in quite good shape. Uh, the body, I'm gonna take the body off and put it on there and see if it actually does fit. Useless suspension, the front bumper. The front bumper might actually be interchangeable. The transmission is gonna be completely unique. Um, on and off switches here. Kinda at a loss. Uh, I don't know what else to say other than let's put some batteries in it. I put six double A's in here. The Anna Loop double A's are probably worth more than the entire car. Uh, it's, oh, it's, it's on. Okay, uh, let's push. Um, wait, it goes. Oh no, freaking way. Reverse, forward. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. Okay, so you push the button backwards, push the button again. Oh, oh sorry, too far. There you go, forward, forward, sorry, forward, backward. Oh man, oh, let's, let's, 
let's see how this drives. I was gonna take this outside, but I figured that any child that would have gotten this is probably gonna be too small to go up by themselves and would drive it inside. So that is the goal. Okay, let's make it go forward. Oh, it's actually pretty, pretty spry. Let's make it go backwards. Forward. Wait. Oh man. Backwards. Oh, it goes. This is the most confusing thing in the world. Let's go outside. All right, we're outside, let's go forward. Okay, that's wrong already. And oh, almost hit the cat, almost hit the cat. And now we're going backwards, I want to, oh, no. So I wanted to go that way. Let's try and turn this around. Nope, back up. Okay, now go forward. So I can't, actually, not horribly slow. Going straight, oh my gosh. The problem with the steering is that there's nothing other than, other than going forward that's keeping them straight. So any kind of imperfection on the road, it just turns. This is genuinely just one channel on a relay. I can't even imagine how disappointed somebody would be in this car. I had some of those cars that would go forward and then, you know, turn and go backwards. But usually the way these work is you turn them on, they go forward, you push the, oh, jeez, look at this again. You push the radio button and then it uh, goes backwards. This one here uses one button to do both. And it just makes it confusing. Oh, jeez. Oh, the cat. You guys are watch out. There we go. <laughs> I was going to get her. Oh, oh, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. No, literally, this thing is not, not control. Myself in the foot too. This is absolutely appalling. This is this is terrible. Oh, no, it goes back. My mistake. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I hit the cat again. This is just awful. Not the house, please. I love how, how much it just arbitrarily turns. I am kind of getting the hang of it. No, 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 no. There you go. But it's, it's, it's pretty unbearable. And look, look how much it turns. I think she's gonna try and get some payback here. I wanna see what happens. Oh jeez, I can't even. Okay, never mind. And uh, there we have it. That was just, just awful. That was just awful. Is it on or off? I can't, oh, it's on. All right, love, let's, um, I don't even know what to do now. Oh, I know, let's take the body off. Let's see how that actually, let's see if this thing is good for parts. I think, that this may be a new source of Nico Turbo Panther bits. Okay, that's all four. Oh, that comes right off. 
Wow, look at um, look at all that. There's there's not much there. There's not much there at all. Wow. Okay. That's uh interesting looking switch, isn't it? Wow. Okay, let's put you over there. And let's take this body off here now. Let's not mix up the screws. The body is off the Turbo Panther. Actually, I just want to com kind of compare the two here. I'm just wondering if there's any other miscellaneous that that would transfer over. Doesn't look like there's too much. Maybe the Nerf bars are the same, but it definitely appears they took this mold here and just started hacking away at it to make this. Well, let's see if we have a body that will transplant. Um, is it gonna fit? Oh, oh, hang on. Wait, do we? Uh, it, you know what? I think with a little bit of modification, yeah, these mounts right here are slightly altered, but I, really believe that with a little bit of perseverance yeah you see there are some slight alterations maybe this wasn't maybe this actually wasn't made from the original mold maybe they just took this body yeah there's there's some slight differences but they're pretty close I think if you really wanted to you can make this thing work it's not too far off these holes line up this this hole does not line up that hole is actually a lost cause but these back ones are pretty close this front one's pretty close this one does not line up at all but again it's not it's not horrible i think you could get this body to fit while i am reassembling this for no apparent reason at all maybe we should ask the question should you get one and well, I know that there's a lot of people out there that like Tandy products. Now, Tandy uh, was the company that made a lot of the uh, items that was sold that were sold at Radio Shack. I don't know if Radio Shack was a global brand. I think in most European markets, European, Australian, uh, for certain, they were known as Tandy. But in the United States, uh, usually we had Radio Shacks over here. This car is clearly br uh, labeled as Radio Shack. Uh, it. I, I thought it was like a Turbo Panther that was kind of dumbed down, but I find it highly unlikely that this is a Nico product. Tandy and Nico go way back. The Tandy Golden Arrow, or in the United States, the Radio Shack Golden Arrow, is actually a Nico Bison. So I had anticipated that this was something kind of similar, but it just isn't. This is some cheapy thing uh let's see here it does say made in korea custom manufactured in korea for radio shack a division of tandy corporation uh it doesn't really say anything here uh the turbo panther i think is made in singapore so it isn't even made in the same location as nico i don't know i think this is just a complete ripoff of the Turbo Panther and uh, cosmetically a quite nice one. I mean, really, it looks very nice. Mechanically, it's terrible. But at the uh, looking at looking at the pluses here, if you have a Turbo Panther that you want to restore, check out this body. There's a bunch of these cars all over eBay. Usually, they're between fifteen and twenty-five dollars, and I have never seen one ever that didn't have a good-looking body. I mean, this thing was never rolled. Uh, judging by the bottom, it was used once on a wet day, put in the box, and the child put it in his closet and pretended that it never happened. I suspect. Also, these tires are dead ringers for the tires on the Turbo Panther. The Turbo Panther ones do say Bridgestone, these do not, but if your Turbo Panther has perished bits, these tires are going to be a saving grace for it. So we do have the good rear tires, good front tires, body with a little bit of a massaging, and you can have a pretty darn good parts car for your Turbo Panther. If you are someone that's really into vintage Radio Shack RC cars, this is a good buy. Um, if you want to drive it, that's probably the worst idea you could ever have because it's terrible. 
And I'm not saying it's terrible because it's forward and reverse and turn only. That's not true. My daughter's got a little one that's just forward and reverse, but it is awesome to drive. This thing is just, it's just unbearable. It's actually unbearable to drive this car. The only real reason I can see anybody buying this is to restore one of these. And um, that wasn't my intention, but I've got one of these in pretty terrible condition. And this is looking pretty good right now. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review. It was very odd because I didn't know what to expect and am pretty disappointed. This thing is kind of bad. Uh, in, in, in a mechanical sense, but uh, good in the fact that I think I found a really good source of parts for all these Turbo Panthers out there. Thanks again for watching. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. The big 100th video is coming up soon, and unfortunately, I have no idea what to talk about. So if you do want to see that 100th video as well as some of the other goodies coming up, please subscribe. You can add me on Facebook and Instagram at Ampro Engineering on both. And before you take off, please check out the band Blue Pinto. The ones allow me to use their songs in my videos, and a link to their page is in the end credits. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.